opportunities and success mm -hmm. that you could embrace if you just got past that five minute. Can I be real with you, God? Mm -hmm. let, me, let me be honest. Let me say it this way. So for those of you who are like me, you know, you, uh, you have um, food challenges, right? So I always say to myself, like, no more pop. Like, this is the year. <laughs> like, no more pop, right? So one of my things is when I'm on the plane, like, they bring it in, like, free. So I'm like, man, it's one thing not to pay for it, but she just landed <laughs> it Right? So here's my thing. I'm not saying I'm always successful, but listen to me for those of you who struggle with conflict. I always say to myself, if you could say no, that feeling that you get when you say no, somebody help me out. Like that urge you get, how mm -hmm. long does it last? Mm -hmm. Just be honest. The, the average urge, I don't care what it is. That average, like for you, what is that toughest thing? Somebody might, you know, vile, vile of celibacy. Like what's that? When you get that urge, let's just be honest. Somebody raise their hand and tell me, generally, how long does an urge last? Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, and, and, and that's long. Yeah. That's long, right? But let's just say for real, whatever that urge was, it was five minutes, right? If you can get past the five minutes, it's gone. It's not like the urge keep coming back every five to ten minutes. You feel me like that? It's not like on every hour on the hour, you keep feeling that urge. So if you would get past that urge of not dealing with conflict, and you would just deal with it for five minutes, the rest of your life would be so phenomenal. But if you let it paralyze you for the rest of your life because you didn't want to deal with it, you're going to miss out on so much stuff. I.e., a solar company, I would have missed out on that opportunity, right? Had I not, had I not wanted to deal with conflict, right? I would have not made millions of dollars as a speaker had I not wanted to deal with conflict, for real. I, people call me all the time. How much? I tell them, 50, 60 grand. I don't have it. I'm like, look, you're a corporation. Mm. Real back in the day, I'd be like, how much do you want to give me? 20. Nah, right? No, and I remember when I was younger, I'd go, well, I'm going to take the 20 because I'm, I'm an African American. Mm. And I know that if I was, you know, Caucasian, they would probably pay me more, but I should just be grateful for the, because my grandma didn't make this kind of money, my father didn't make this mm. kind of money, and if I say something, they may say, we don't want you at all. Right? So I feared that by speaking up, I might not even get the 20 at all. But now that I'm not tripping on conflict, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> negotiate. Come on. Okay. It's Come 60, on. But I'll do it for 50 right now. <laughs> but if you don't take the 50 right now and you call me two days from now, it's mm -hmm. seven. Yes. Yes. Come on. All Next right. level. Come Next on. level. So I'll be real. And I need two first class tickets for my. Wife and myself, yes. and I need another ticket. Come you don't on. have to be first class mm. for my videographer. Mm. And I need a hotel. I need a suite for me and my wife. I need a deluxe suite yes. with the executive lounge because I want to be able to go double get doors when I'm hungry. Jeez. And I'm, I need a car to pick me up and take me to the yes. hotel. All right. And then yes. bring me a rental car tomorrow because I want to mm. get one. When I land, mm. that's a seven hour, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Mm. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with I you. I passed conflict <laughs> and I made myself the priority. Yes. Are you hearing me? That's right. You don't want to deal with conflict. Why? Because you're afraid to make yourself the priority. priority. Yes. This is a company. When I finish with your company, you will make four times what you pay. Oh. Come on. It's not like you're not about to get paid. When I come in there and talk to your staff, they're going to work like they've never worked before. That's right. right. That's right. right. You're going to make more money than you've ever made before. Why? Because I'm going to bring my Something. integrity. I'm going to bring my anointing. Come I'm on. going to bring my blessing. Speak. So when I get to the building, your company going to go to another level. Why? Because I'm blessed. The creator has touched me, and whatever I touch turns to oh. Come on. Come on. Come on, E.T. I don't have to go out with conflict no more because I understand what it's really about. And the last one, for a lot of you, have conflict problems because you don't know who you are. You don't know. Go deep. You, 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 are, you are allowing people to tell you what should and shouldn't be done. Because, I'll never forget, Bob Proctor told me, when I told him what I charged, he's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you charge how much? You the, you the, like, Bob Proctor told me back in the day, like, yo, you the best, kid. You only charge what? I was like, 10 grand, like, look, at least 20. All right, watch this. When 
When I went back to him, he said, how much did you try? I said, 20. He was like, ah, I'm disappointed. I was like, why? You told me 20. He said, I never told you 20. I told you no more than 20. But because you have a low self-esteem, you earned 20. Mm. Come I on. I told you 20. I said no less than 20. Jeez. So how no less than 20 turned into 20? I'm not 100% uh, sure. Jeez. Come on. That's not what I told you. Teach. I said no less than 20, right? Mm -hmm. So then I said to Bob Proctor, I said, look, bro, I'm, where, where you come from and where I come from are two different places. He said, no, it's not. Mm. I said, no, no, no. What you don't understand is the kids in my neighborhood don't have 20, 30, 10 to pay me. Yeah. He said, okay, we'll do it for free. Mm. I said, what? Mm. He said, no, 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 no. You are worth what you are worth. Mm. Don't ever sell yourself for cheap. Mercy. If you want to, give it away. Mm. Mercy. Give it for free, but don't, under, don't undervalue yourself. Oh. Are you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So what he was saying is, you make a choice. If you want to do it for a discount, like you want to do it for free, do it for free. But don't discount yourself. All right? So I'm saying to those of you in the room, you are afraid of conflict, and a part of it is because you don't value you. For real. So in every society, like they, I, I think it's hilarious. Like in certain societies where we come from, I think it's funny. It's like the new size is supposed to be a zero. <laughs> I'm like, where I come from, no, my sisters come from Africa. Ain't nobody <laughs> zero. No zero. Testify. I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never seen no pictures in Africa when nobody was no zero. Right? So what will happen is a young lady will go, well, because I'm not a zero, then I'm not beautiful. That's their standards. That don't got nothing to do with who you are. That don't make you less valuable because you're not a zero. Like, I, like, maybe in certain worlds, a zero might be smooth. But I promise you, I told my wife, like, and she's like, you think I need to lose weight? I was like, yo, even a dog won't meet on it. <laughs> I, I, I'm not looking for no, you know what I'm saying? Like, now somebody else might be looking for that, but I, I like it thick. I'm like, Come on. I don't, I don't go there. Like, 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 what I'm saying to my wife, like, don't get caught up on, why are you worried about what society standing? You're not married to society. What society thinks you should be has nothing to do with what I think you should be. Like, you should be trying to impress me, not society. And then those of you who society has told you, you this, you this, or that, and you bind into what society told you, well, you should be bind into what you believe about yourself. That's right. Mm -hmm. I truly believe I'm royal. Yes. I could care less what Alabama think about me. Yes. I care less what the people of Alabama think. I think I'm royal. I think, yes. I think I, I'm a royal priesthood. I think yes. I'm a chosen generation. Oh. I think I'm the head awesome. and not the tail. Yes, sir. I, Come I on. think I'm a leader and not a boss. Come on. I think I got it going on. <laughs> you do. And as a result <laughs> of it, I, I walk like it. Yes. And I attract other people that yeah, think well, they got well. it going on. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. You were in this room. We've attracted each other. Yes. So regardless of my dad wasn't in your life, he the one with the problem. Mm. <laughs> you don't have a problem. He had a problem because he didn't realize how special you were and mm. he wasn't there to raise you. Mercy. My mom wasn't there for me. That's your mama problem, mm. not your problem. That I, why, why, why are you thinking less of yourself because your mom wasn't a mother? Why are you thinking less of yourself because your father wasn't mature enough to be a father? That has nothing to do with your value. You are, you just flat out valuable. And when you realize how valuable you are, everything will change. And once I realized how valuable I was, I became a one percenter. And I started using my gift the way someone who thinks they're valuable will use their gift. Mm. And I stopped saying, my teacher said I have a, a my teacher said I had an AD, AD, what is that? <laughs> Are you listening to what I'm saying? My teachers say you talk too much. How dare you? <laughs>